Hey guys, today is Amazon Prime's big day deals and that basically means it's Prime Day in October. Now there aren't that many great deals, but there are a few that are gonna sell out very quickly and we are gonna quickly take a look at them. So the very first one on this list is the best one overall. If you don't buy it right now, you're probably not gonna get it. It is the Western Digital 14 terabyte elements drive. This is an external hard drive, but it's a white label NAS drive, which means that you could shuck the device, there are videos online, and basically take the hard drive out of this and use it in a NAS device. Now this is right around $12 per terabyte, which is the absolute lowest price for all of the hard drives we're gonna take a look at. The 18 terabyte is on sale for $269.99 and the 22 terabyte is on sale for $349.99, but those are right around $15 per terabyte. And the 14 terabyte drive is again, right around $12. So this is gonna be a great backup destination if you have a regular NAS device and you plug it into it, or again, you could pull out the hard drive and use it as an internal hard drive. Though for most people, you probably want to go with internal hard drives just because it's a little easier. So again, if you want to buy this, you're going to have to buy it right now. So now we're going to get into internal hard drives and there's a lot of them on sale. You're going to have to determine which one makes the most sense for you. So the Western Digital 12 terabyte WD Red Plus drive is on sale for $199.99. I would probably skip over this one if you can. I'm showing it because it depends on stock. These are all gonna go out of stock relatively quickly. But the reason why is because the Seagate Iron Wolf Pro 12 terabyte drives are only $10 more. So if you really are looking for the best overall drive, the Iron Wolf Pro is a better drive than the Western Digital Red Plus. So it's only a $10 difference. I would probably go with that one. But again, depending on stock, it's kind of up to you. Now, if you want a bigger NAS drive, that's where things start to change. So the 20 terabyte Iron Wolf Pro is on sale for $329.99. The 16 terabyte is on sale for $269.99. They're both in the $16 range per terabyte. So overall, they're really not that bad from a price perspective, but depending on the size that you want is whichever one you'd go with. The WD Red Pro is on sale as well, 20 terabyte drives for 350. So those are gonna be all of your options for kind of larger hard drives. I would say most of them are good deals. They're all on that 15 to $18 price per terabyte, which in general is a good range to be in. And honestly, wouldn't buy anything else. Those are the only drives that I'd buy right now. The next is a KVM device. So I have the Comet PoE. This is not the PoE version, so you have to power this. But I love having a KVM. I just made a video on this a few weeks ago. Just basically allows you to connect a headless device and be able to access it through a web browser. Makes your life very, very simple. And it's only 15% off, but this is cheaper than you're gonna find it most times. So if you want one of these, this is not a bad time to buy it. Okay, so now we are going to get into NAS devices. And I used to recommend a wide range of NAS devices when it came to Prime Day because a lot of them are on sale. I'm now at the point where I would say you kind of have to buy Ugreen or nothing else. And I will give a big disclaimer to this. If you're absolutely somebody that will 100% install a third-party NAS operating system, meaning TrueNAS or Unraid, there are other options you should consider, specifically TerraMaster. However, if you're somebody that is on the fence, you're not sure if you want to use a first-party NAS operating system or a third-party NAS operating system, you kind of have to go with Ugreen. Now, you can buy a QNAP device as well, but none of them are on sale right now, at least not right this second. So you kind of are in a corner with Ugreen right now. Here's a little bit of information about Ugreen. The first-party operating system is good. It's not great. It has improved a lot. I really did not like it when it was first released, but over the course of the past year, year and a half, it has improved a lot. If you want to use the first party NAS operating system, you will have a functional NAS device. It's not going to have all of the features of something like a Synology, but it is going to have a lot of them. If you are somebody that is just going to use the hardware you can install TrueNAS or Unraid on these devices. I just recently did it. 
to test out. I have some TrueNAS videos coming out if you're interested, but the idea behind it is you can kind of do what you want with these devices and it's very, very easy to install a third-party NAS operating system. So I'm gonna go through three of them right now and depending on what you want, that's the one you should pick. But the 4800 Plus is on sale for 599. The 6800 Plus is on sale for 799. And the 8800 Plus is on sale for 1199. So depending on what you want to do, that will determine which option is best for you. I suspect that later today, the two bay NAS device will be on sale as well. As of right now, it's not. If it is, I'll leave a link to it in the description. But you really can't go wrong with these. And if you're interested in a NAS device, this is gonna be the best price you're gonna find. They might be slightly lower on Black Friday, but realistically, you're probably looking at the same price. So buying it now is not the worst idea. Next is a UPS device. And I wanna give the disclaimer that this is not the best device. So the reality of things is that there are no other UPS devices that are on sale. And this is a fine deal. It's not a great deal but you can get away with this, especially if you're only looking to run something like a small NAS device, as well as let's say a router or a switch. This will do exactly what you're looking for. The important point here is that this device has a data port, which basically means that you can monitor the UPS. So you could either run a NUT server or you could connect this directly to a NAS and it will be able to monitor it and safely shut down. That is, I would say the most important point of any UPS device. Now, when you get into UPS devices, there are many different types. So there's pure sine wave, there's simulated sine wave. I don't get into that. I mainly say that you need a UPS device. If you want to buy the best UPS device, this is not going to be it. You should get a pure sine wave device, but they're gonna be a lot more expensive than this. If you have nothing, this is something that you can buy, again, not the best deal, not the worst deal either. The final thing I'd consider is a mini PC. You could do a lot with these. This is overall the cheapest one. There are other options, but they're gonna be slightly more expensive. And honestly, if you really want to spend more, you're better off going with a higher tier of mini PC, meaning a better processor. So if you do want a mini PC, you can install Proxmox on this. You can install just Ubuntu server, run Docker. There's a lot that you could do here. This is the one I'd suggest. With that said, there are a lot of others. So if you wanna do more performant things, you're better off going with something like this. Now, the problem with mini PCs is that there's a very wide range of them, meaning that from a performance perspective, you can buy a device that has better performance, but you're going to potentially run into heat issues. Depending on the actual manufacturer of the mini PC, you're going to get better options from a BIOS perspective. So I tend to stick with two brands or three brands really, but the third isn't on sale right now. I stick with GMK Tech, B-Link, and then the third is Minis Forum. Now, the reason I'm suggesting those is because I've used them, I own them, I know that overall they're stable. I've had some of them running for many years now. When you start branching out outside of those brands, that's when you can get yourself into trouble. So I would stick with those brands. It's not a guarantee that you're not going to run into issues. I can't guarantee that. But I do think that overall, if you use these, you will have a functional mini PC that will run for many years and it will do kind of exactly what you're looking for. Now, there are a lot of other things on sale, NAS devices, SSDs, but honestly, nothing that I'd personally buy. I think you'll get better prices on Black Friday. But for these, I think you're either gonna get the same price on Black Friday or these might even be slightly lower. So I hope you guys got some value out of this. I have affiliate links for all of these in the description. If you use them, I will earn a small commission of sale at no cost to you. So thank you for supporting the channel. But other than that, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.